As well as contemplating some of the collaboration options available, this course looks at some of the types of group the more sophisticated collaboration options can be undertaken through, that is, the vehicles available for those collaborations. The study guide describes four group types. Firstly, consortia, or membership peak bodies, coalitions. Secondly, federations. Thirdly, cooperatives. And finally, franchises. National Disability Services, NDS, is a good example of the first type, membership body. It's the peak body for Australia's disability service providers and promotes itself as being a strong voice for disability service providers. NDS fulfills advocacy and training roles on behalf of its thousands of member organisations. Membership is optional, annual and affordable. Membership fees are linked to turnover. NDS achieves advocacy objectives through influence alone. The second type, Federation, is an alliance of member organisations established to centralise common functions. It is a formal structure for separate organisations to work together. In practice, federations seem to carry more weight than membership bodies, perhaps because they have a formal and singular place in the relevant landscape. This is very evident in sporting federations, such as Football Federation Australia, Equestrian Australia. The third type, Cooperative, is a democratic organisation, owned and controlled by its members for a common benefit. Cooperatives are traditionally based on values of self-help, self-responsibility, equality and solidarity. Members of a cooperative can benefit from economies of scale through the combined purchasing, distribution or marketing power or influence of the group. They share in the group's investment and operational risks and losses, as well as its benefits. Cooperatives can be very large and sophisticated. Western Australia's CBH Group is Australia's largest cooperative owned and controlled by around 4,200 Western Australian grain growers. It has total assets of more than $2 billion. The fourth type, franchises, are very visible in Australia. The landscape is literally filled with them. McDonald's, Jim's Mowing, Coffee Club, Baker's Delight, OPSM. Each franchise agreement is different, but will typically involve the franchisee paying an upfront fee to buy the franchise and then ongoing fees for services. The ongoing services from the franchisor often include support for marketing, branding, management, new product development and training. 